In this video, we're going to talk about eliminating the parameter. What that means is we're going from parametric equations to rectangular coordinates, or re uh, rectangular equations, which means it would have x and y in it, basically a normal equation what we're used to. So to do this, it's pretty simple, uh, but there are obviously a few tricks to this. First, you solve for the parameter, which is typically t, and then you plug in for t, or whatever the parameter is, into the one that you did not solve. So let's look at a couple examples. We'll start out with a very basic one, and then we'll work our way up to a couple more challenging problems. So the first example is going to be x of t equals t minus 2, and y of t equals 3t. And what we want is we want an equation kind of like, you know, y equals 3x plus 17 or something like that. So let's do this. Um, Grab my pen here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write this as x equals t minus 2. And what I want to do is solve for t. So what I do is I'm going to add 2 to both sides. I get x plus 2 equals t. And then what I can do is plug this stuff into the other equation in for t. It's really important you plug it into the other part of the parametric equation, not back into what you had, otherwise you kind of created this circle. So this is y equals 3 times t, but we said t is x plus 2. So then we get y equals 3x plus 6. And that would be your rectangular equation. It's the same as the parametric equation, just written with only x's and y's. All right, so there's a, a pretty basic example, not a whole lot of challenging algebra. Solve for t, plug it in. So in example two here, I've got uh, x of t equals t squared plus 3t minus 7, and then y is 1 half t. So in this example, you know, typically we're going to solve for t using the x equation, and then plug in and get y equals. That's going to be pretty messy. So let's be smart about this. Let's just do y equals 1 half t and solve for t using the y equation. So to cancel out multiplying by a half, I'm going to multiply by 2 on both sides to get t all by itself. And I get t equals 2y. So then what I can do is wherever we see a t in the x equation, I can plug in 2y. So I get x equals 2y squared plus 3 times 2y minus 7. So then I get x equals 4y squared plus 6y minus 7. So our parametric equation, uh, well, excuse me, our rectangular equation is going to be x equals 4y squared plus 6y minus 7. That's from our parametric. Okay, so let's run through one more example. This one's going to have some sines and cosines in it. And this one is going to be a slightly uh, different problem than the ones we've been doing. But same idea. We're going to start out. I'm going to start out with x equals 7 sine t. And I want to solve for t. So first I'm going to divide by 7. So I get sine t equals x over 7. Now, typically what we do here to get t by itself is we do the inverse sine or arc sine to get t all by itself. But we're actually going to leave it like this, and I'm going to show you a little trick next. So let's do the same thing with the y part of the parametric equation. We've got y equals negative 3 cosine t. And then if I'm going to divide by negative 3 to get cosine t all by itself. And I get y over negative 3 equals cosine t. So the reason I didn't do the inverse sine or inverse cosine was because we do know a trig identity. And that is sine squared t plus cosine squared t equals 1. Well, guess what? We know what sine is. We know what cosine is. So we can plug those into this equation. We will have x over 7 squared 
because that's sine squared, plus y over negative 3 squared equals 1. And so our final answer here is going to be x squared over 49 plus y squared over 9 equals 1. So this is going to be my rectangular equation based off of the parametric equation that was given to me. All right, so there's a three quick examples of how to get rid of the parameter, eliminating the parameter.